We do offer two programs, construction technology and also construction management. I represent construction technology and we see construction technology as the hands-on or the do of construction. So these are folks that may serve as uh, you know, foremen, laborers, uh, job site superintendents. Sometimes they take the role of an office staff in estimating or um, potentially material takeoff or design. Okay, the differences between the building construction management program and the construction technology program um, are that building construction management is more about what needs to be done, what needs to be arranged in order for the process of construction to continue in an orderly fashion. I liken it to construction technology being more about the physical doing of the work and building construction management uh, having more to do with the managerial aspects of that work. The average age of my students is probably somewhere in their 30s. I will have students right out of high school. I will have students approaching 60 years of age. But I suppose most of my students have significant construction experience. They are at a point in their career where they want to prepare themselves to take another step and to move into a managerial role. I was injured on the job and kind of needed a direction to go. So I had never been to school before and wanted to stay in my current field. So I wanted to broaden my horizon, so to speak, and get in strictly into the managerial side and <clears throat> so I thought school was the way to go. If you've seen any recent news, uh, you've seen lots of articles about construction labor shortages and what's predicted at a national level and also at a regional level is that skilled trades will be in decline. In other words, when the housing bubble burst a number of years ago, a lot of people left the industry and as the economy comes back, the construction industry is beginning to boom but there is not enough labor to support that boom. So for construction technology students, this is really a key time to get an education, set themselves apart, because there will be job openings that come up here in the future as the economy rebounds, and they're gonna be the most prepared to apply for those jobs. My experience at Ivy Tech prepared me for my current position at Three Industries by giving me the time management skills, the organization, the confidence needed to take my myself in front of other people and perform my job more confidently. Some of the highlights of the programs in the construction area are the relevancy to today's industry, the one-on-one -on -one with your instructor, the classes are smaller, they're able to work with each and every student. Uh, some of the very interesting real-life projects that get worked on over there. Teaches them uh, exactly what they need to know to succeed out in the industry. Probably the, the biggest thing that I would like to stress is that we have labs. And most classes have two hours in the classroom and two hours in the laboratory per week. And that 50-50 split allows students that are typically better with their hands to get into the lab and learn in a hands-on fashion. Now beyond that, we do have community service projects and that is a huge uh, thing here in the program that students really enjoy because instead of being in the construction lab, they're out on a live project doing a roof for say a park nearby or doing siding at um, a public agency like the Public Safety Academy, lots of different opportunities. There's a fair number of students who already are operating their own business and want to do it better. The two-year degree really suits them. A student um, in a class I'm presently teaching runs a construction company with her husband. And she was sharing uh, just the other day how the instruction we present is immediately useful to them in improving their management within their company.